Ben Affleck and Henry Cavill back in the DCEU. Well, here we go again, so let's take a look. <laughs> so here we have uh, Mikey Sutton's uh, Geekosity, and uh, Mikey writes this one here. So, uh, this well, I'll just read the article, but I'm sure you heard all this now as concerning uh, the Flash movie. So, uh, the Flash film will not kill Ben Affleck's Batman, according to YouTube star <laughs> Grace Randolph. So, Ben Affleck's Batman lives on. Randolph shared the information on her Twitter. Uh, so, uh, yeah, there it is. She says, you crazy Snyderverse fans, how you managed to stay alive is incredible. Well, they, they want, they see the Snyder Cut was just part one of a three-part, yeah. Anyway, I now hear Batfleck does not die in the flesh, after all. At least, not the most recent time. June 2023, and a Discovery merger is a long, long path indeed. We'll see what happens. Yeah, so anyway, there's, there's, hey, look, it's Batfleck. So... Uh, so, gee, doesn't this sound familiar? That's right, Mikey, it does, because uh, you initially scooped this <laughs> in July 2021. Uh, and prior to that, yes, the original plan was to end Ben Affleck's run on the Batman. In fact, on March 26, 2021, uh, he, uh, so I revealed the meaning sudden, uh, the Flash would erase the Snyderverse. Now, this was nearly a year, a full year before the other media uh, outlets reported the same. They didn't get the memo, indeed. It was old news to Geek Oxidy read. Right. So, this story of two different cuts is, is also kind of old. That, uh, yes, initially that was the deal. That this, and they were talking about it. This is a good send off for Ben Affleck's Batman and Ad Affleck saying, oh, I really enjoyed it, you know, and all this stuff. Um, but. <laughs> It's, uh, it does, it's not that good of an idea. Uh, I had assumed that rather than him dying, that he would still be erased. And with all the stuff from the uh, upcoming Batgirl film, you have uh, Ben Affleck's Commissioner Gordon in the form of J.K. Simmons there. But you have Michael Keaton's Batman being the Batman of that. There, you've seen the behind-the-scenes shots. There's uh, J.K. Simmons uh, all made up to look uh, younger. And uh, who's Batman working with him? Why, it's Michael Keaton's Batman. It's not Michael Keaton, but it's Michael Keaton's suit with a stuntman in there. And, uh, well, uh, what's that about? How can that be? And, of course, with all the uh, multiverse and time warp shenanigans that's at the heart of the Flash film, well, something changed. So, and, it's, and with the schedule changing. So then I think it gets into here. The, the Okay, it goes more about the scripts and whatnot. The Flash made numerous script changes. Likewise, the filmmakers may not be done fixing its issues. <laughs> no, they're not. Warner Brothers just switched the Flash's theatrical release dates. That's right. Now, why would they do that? Well, the studio claims special effects for the reason for its delay. However, the sources indicate the Flash still has problems, too. Certainly, the additional time assists with creative adjustments. For the record, nobody is doubting the special effects excuse. excuse. I am. I'm sorry, but... You know, oh, the pandemic. Yeah, I know, it did. It caused a lot of delays and stuff, uh, most notably to the Batman. Hey, what's the hot movie right now? The Batman. <laughs> I mean, a lot of stuff, I mean, Spider-Man came out. I just, at this point, I'm I, at lukewarm at best is that a legitimate excuse um, for this. Then there's the Aquaman film with, uh, you know, Mira and all that. There's plenty of reasons to shuffle this around, but it's interesting with Batgirl. I don't know what the release date would be since that sounds like it would have to be after the flash because the flash is the movie that changes everything. It would make a scenario like that possible. So anyway, uh, yeah, the anti Snyderverse crowd jumped on Ben Affleck's rumored demise in the flash with glee. A number of them questioned Randolph's credibility in the past, but suddenly leapt on her bandwagon. Well, it's just when she tells you something you want to hear, then you love her. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but this is Hollywood. Directors tinker with their movies in regards to Ben Affleck's Batman future. Randolph added, I was shocked as well, but he seems to have had a change of heart. Doesn't want to close the door entirely. 
So there you go. Uh, it, look, it sounded pretty genuine. The, some of the interviews he gave about, you know, that he was done with Batman and, and uh, he doesn't want to do IP films and all that type of stuff. And he wants to do more of these uh, smaller uh, movies and whatnot. And, um, uh, it, but that could have been all part of the, hey, we want everything, the emphasis to be on Robert Pattinson's uh, The Batman. Uh, and, and that sort of thing, and that's how you play ball uh, within the industry, even though he has to be aware that there's there's quite a fan base that would like to see a continuation of his version of the character. Um, so so now he's saying, some believe, which, I don't know, maybe something himself, I don't know, <laughs> the success of Patton's The Batman could have destroyed the potential of Ben Affleck's return. That isn't true. Pattinson's Dark Knight won't appear outside director Matt Reeves' pocket universe. Well, that's a problem. Warner Brothers wants Batman in a future Justice League movie. Who will they get? Michael Keaton? Keaton is 70. He won't be wearing the costume long. After Batgirl, Keaton will settle into a mentor role. The ball has, been, has always been in Ben Affleck's court. Insiders emphasize that Ben Affleck's death in the flash wouldn't work. He'd need a, to have a significant screen time for it to have any emotional power, as ours explained. It wouldn't make any sense. Ben Affleck shows up for 10 minutes, and then he dies. Not only would that anger fans, <laughs> yes it would, but it's terrible artistically. Clearly, Ben Affleck isn't done. Well, it's not all that clear. I mean, if he personally is done, then it's done. But the character he created in that version could continue. You just recast it. You know, and uh, using Michael Keaton, it's interesting, but I always thought... Keaton would be much better uh, continuing his Batman in a Batman Beyond type story. It looks like they're doing some of that with Batgirl, but that's not Batgirl's story. Batgirl should get her story, not uh, Batman Beyond story. You know? But, uh, so, uh, he clearly isn't done. Flash star Ezra Miller hinted as much in such in February. Well, that's Ezra Miller, so <laughs> to the hell no. It's not a reliable source uh, on anything. <laughs> But it, it, it could be spot on that they, but yeah, we want to get him back some form or fashion. But it creates this problem. You've got an established hit with uh, the Batman. Had the Batman bombed and stuff like that, then, you know, this would be uh, more likely. But, you know, they get nervous about this, especially when it's, it's two different Batman. But uh, then again, uh, Batman's the big star for all things DC. So, uh, no more Batman, the merrier. It's just lately they've had, they keep, CW's got this Gotham Knights show. It sounds god-awful. Another show. Another Batman show. With no Batman. You gotta stop doing that. So, the idea that they really didn't embrace the multiverse, and so you've got, uh, you know, uh, Robert Pattinson's Batman in his own pocket universe, where I'm guessing he's just Batman and there's no Justice League or Superman or any of that in that, in that world. Then you know you got a trilogy there. Well, with that version of it. Meanwhile, you've got uh, the DC Universe Batman and Ben Affleck, who does uh, uh, join the Justice League and all which he has and so far. And uh, you you follow through with the story there, and uh, gets his own little adventure. I guess they could do it uh, with just an HBO Max uh, film, uh, but I'm pretty sure Affleck would want a theatrical release. But they could just call it Deathstroke. <laughs> He's the villain in that story he was working on. And, uh, oh, look, it just so happens to feature Batman in it. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and there's only so much money to go around, too. So, uh, but in the end, I guess, may the best Batman win, you know, and all that sort of stuff. But, hey, that's just Batman. What else is going on? Well, Geeky Sutton's got it here. I mean, Geeky Sutton. What am I? <laughs> Geekosity. Uh, Mikey Sutton didn't write this one. Edwin Francisco did. But uh, the other rumor, Henry Cavill to film new scenes as Superman for The Flash. And I've uh, been hearing about this for a while, but I guess it's starting to heat up again. A new rumor claims that Henry Cavill returns as Superman in The Flash. Geekosity Editor-in-Chief Mikey Sutton, hey, remember that guy? Revealed Henry Cavill is in The Flash for a while now. According to a report, the noise gets louder. It's been a long while since we've heard DC films, including Henry Cavill, uh, into their schedule. In general, his participation in the DCEU has been silent since 
his last appearance in Justice League. Even before Zack Snyder's Justice League, Henry Cavill has been campaigning that he wanted to be back as Superman. The HBO Max special resurrected people's excitement over the Justice League. This shows that Joss Whedon's version didn't give the movie a chance. The four-hour streaming special was vastly superior to the theatrical cut. But of this, the Restore the Snyderverse movement came into fruition. Hey, look, he's on the set of The Flash. <laughs> no, that's from uh, Justice League. <laughs> anyway, uh, we've reported before that Henry Cavill was making some schedule, uh, yeah, making some schedules work for Shazam, Fury of the Gods, and Black Adam. But we never got official word from DC Films themselves. Earlier this week, we got reports of shifting DCEU film schedules. Shazam! Fury of the Gods, Aquaman 2, The Flash, and Black Adam all switched dates to a later time. No, uh, the Shazam went earlier. So it's uh, earlier than uh, those, as I recall. Well, maybe I'm wrong, but I think that's how that worked. Anyway, the latest reports have revealed that DCEU is looking into getting Henry Cavill back to shoot scenes for The Flash as Superman. They weren't that surprised. Sutton has reported this before, and Cavill was already in negotiations back in January. Even Dwayne The Rock Johnson wanted Superman back and was willing to work schedules to get Cavill involved. The first sign that did surprise us was that the Justice League cameo in James Gunn's Peacemaker series. They are not the full team, but Superman is obviously there. The shot was missing Ben Affleck's Batman and Ray Fisher's Cyborg. Well, we know why Cyborg isn't there, because Ray Fisher really burnt bridges. But Ben Affleck, and that was more of the same, ah, oh, boy, yeah, he's, they're not, they, they want everything about uh, Pattinson. And that might have more to do with it. But, you know, I'm mean, saying this takes place before the events of The Flash, so, you know, he just wasn't available and can't get there as fast as these other people can, you know? Uh, of course, I don't know how fast Aquaman is. Maybe there's a river nearby. Anyway, Superman and Wonder Woman were doubles based on actors who were there at the ship. Even a body double for Batman was shot, but was edited out. So Wonder Brothers said, nah, you can't have Batman. So, does that mean there's no more Ben Affleck? We don't want to mention ever again, uh, except for the Flash movie, and that's that. Or, we want all Batman to be about the Batman movie at the moment. Uh, I don't think the Batman movie needs any more help. Uh, it's a hit on its own. So, conceivably, you could continue with your other Batman. You already have another one in uh, Michael Keaton, but of course that'll be all about the Batgirl movie and stuff, but still, you know. Anyway, uh, James Gunn had said there, were, there is a reason for Batman missing in the shot, but he could not elaborate, which means there might be a story behind that. Yeah, well, obviously there is. <laughs> we'll see sometime in the future. It was said that the production of The Flash was planning to reuse shots from Man of Steel. And that's why you they, they brought back Michael Shannon and uh, Antti Trout, uh, Zod and Feyre, respectively, uh, to be in that film. But then it's like, well, no Henry Cavill? Ah, they're going to reuse use footage and stuff. So it's like, why Zod? I had suspected this is to set him up for a Supergirl film. But uh, they're certainly undoing his death in Man of Steel and that sort of thing. Um, but could very well be that Henry Cavill will be there as well. And uh, just shows glimpses of him, uh, but because of the new re release schedule, it will give enough time to do more reshoots and possibly include Henry Cavill into the movie. Uh, with Superman back into the DC. All right already. Jeez, who the hell is doing this? Hang on a minute. That's nothing. Oh. All right. Anyway, with Superman. Her man back into the DCEU. Will DC Films plan to actually continue Zack Snyder's original vision in some way? Is the Snyderverse returning? Is DC Films now really listening to the fans this time around? Find out in the next exciting episode of DCEU. Same DCEU station. Same DCEU time. Well, it's, uh, he's back into the DCEU. We don't particularly know that. So there's the image that is the Henry Cavill Superman. It's a you know, body double, but nevertheless, that's you know the same character and that version of it. But the Flash film could change all of that. Um, perhaps they've done the wise thing and decided not to erase uh, him, and apparently not even Batman. 
So that is rather positive. So, oh, will the Snyderverse uh, continue in some way? It would because his casting choices remain. Certainly a Momoa remains and Gal Gadot remains. And uh, for whatever reason, they're hanging on to Ezra Miller as the player. <laughs> so, uh, yes, it does continue in some way. Snyderverse entirety, where you get uh, his Justice League uh, 2 and 3, uh, that's still very much uh, in the dark as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but some form of fashion, it could. And uh, they may be uh, the merger and uh, Discovery coming in and said, well, we're running numbers and we think that, that that version is still the more popular as far as that goes. With the Batman, well, that's its own thing. It doesn't have any connection to a Justice League or anything. Unless you scrap all of this and you grow a new shared universe out of that, which they could do, uh, despite not having a whole lot of fantastic elements within that version of Batman. But, yeah, they could do that. Um, and they would want to, to compete with you-know-who. So, uh, but they already have this vehicle, and instead of trashing it with the nonsense that appeared to be coming and was well underway, um, perhaps it's been uh, altered and, uh, you know, restored to its uh, proper uh, status, you know? See, they all want Superman. Yeah, not Supergirl, Superman. <laughs> you can have Supergirl hanging out with Superman, but you gotta have Superman. And you gotta have Batman, too. Yeah. yeah. Anywho, there we are. There's your latest update on DCEU. The next one will probably be more of the same. <laughs> uh, we'll just have to wait and see what the hell happens with The Flash. And, well, I mean, by then, maybe if he shows up in uh, Black Adam and... Uh, Shazam. Only in uh, little cameos, it's still a rather significant uh, event. But eventually, uh, all that's all good and stuff. He needs to get his own Superman movies. It's, it's absolutely a disgrace that there's been no Superman movies in all these years. So, uh, there you go. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Again, same DCEU time, same DCEU station.